Yeah, 43. I had a question coming out of chapter one, number 80. And here we were told that 50 part-time students asked, uh, were asked how many courses they were taking this term. So there's my variable. And just as a note, if I'm looking at this, this is a numerical variable. All right, and also I because I would oops because I would count that variable or count that number, it's a discrete numerical variable, and you can see the discrete options here one, two, and three. All right, so it says um, incomplete results are shown in the table below, and it says fill it in. So let's let's figure this out now. Another thing I I, I should take note of is my sample size is fifty, and as of here and here, I've accounted for forty five students. So if that total needs to come to 50, right, that frequency column always needs to total out to my sample size. So, oops, I can, I can use subtraction and figure out that five students must have taken three courses. So just as a little side note, if I wanted to, I could say 30 students are taking one course. I could say two, um, excuse me, 15 students are taking two courses, right? and I could say then that five students are taking three courses, right? and that's how the distribution for this variable goes. Now in terms of relative frequency, we know that whenever you want to bounce from frequency to relative frequency, you take your frequency and you divide by sample size, right? So what I need to do here is I need to take, and I'm going to put it over here, I need to take 30 and divide it by 50, and that's where we get 0.6. So I'm gonna now take 15 and divide it by 50, and that's where I'm gonna get 0.3. And then finally, I'm gonna take five and divide it by 50, and that's where I'm gonna get 0.1. So if I wanted to fill in the rest of this table, I would put 0.3 here, and I would put 0.1 here. And you'll see that these three numbers, and let me go ahead and highlight them, these three numbers, they total out to one, and they should your relative frequency column should always total out to one. All right, and then if I wanna go and get to the cumulative relative frequency column, I'm gonna zigzag. So I'm gonna move the, oops, excuse me. Let me get, click off of that for a moment. Oops, let me click over here. There we go. I'm gonna move the 0.6 over, right? And then we're gonna zigzag. So 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.9. 0 0.9 plus 0.1 is one, and it should total out to one. Right, that's how the cumulative relative frequency column should always total out. You might, uh, on some tables, you might get something like 0 0.999 or maybe something like 1.001 because there's times when we have decimal round-off errors, right, but it should be pretty darn close to 1. Okay, so next thing to take note of is it says what percent of students are taking exactly two courses? So I see percent here. All right, that means I want a relative frequency. All right, so I'm going to put this here. I want a relative frequency, or another word for that, right? We could say proportion. We could say a percentage, right? It's a fraction. It's a ratio, something to that effect, right? It's not a whole number. All right, and if you're taking exactly two courses, well, I quite, I quite literally put it here, right? 15 students are taking exactly two courses. But if we think about 15, right? 15 is not a percent. So if I want to talk about the percent, I don't want to use 15, I want to use 30%, right? So that, that part, that, or excuse me, part B, its answer is going to be 30%. Okay, now for part C, if we take a look at part C, again, we've got percent, but this is taking one or two courses, right? So we know that 30 students are taking one course, 15 students are taking two courses. So collectively, right, we have 45 students, and I can write this up here, 45 students are taking one or two courses. Oops, one or two courses. Another way of saying that is 45 students are taking two or fewer courses, right? And when we talk about the or fewer, we're talking about cumulative numbers now. Cumulative numbers. So if I want to talk about the cumulative relative frequency, and again, I want a percent here for two or fewer, you can see that it's 90%. So I'm going to scroll to the final answers here, right? So I wrote these answers up, and you can see them popping up in my table, right? You see the five is put here. 
you see my relative frequency of 30% and 10%, and then you see me creating the cumulative relative frequency totals. And then I'm answering part B saying this percent, right? 30% of students are taking exactly two courses and 90% of students are taking one or two courses. All right, so there's number 80. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.